Sunday Superstitions. This is a series to debunk weird beliefs, social conditioning and religious ideology. So this one is about black cats. Now I'm going to explain different traditions about black cats, European and Asia and so forth. So the European, the idea of black cats, though cats have been often been associated with good luck rather than its opposite and even worshipped as gods in ancient Egypt. In Welsh and Celtic culture, they are also seen as lucky black cats. Cats also make an appearance in Greek mythology, specifically Hecate, the goddess of magic, sorcery, the moon and witchcraft, which was described as having a cat as both a pet and a familiar, a supernatural creature that assists a witch according to European folklore. Things took a turn for the worse for our dark coloured feline friends. Sometime around the Dark Ages, when in 1232 AD, a papal bull by Pope Gregory the Ninth declared them as an incarnation of Satan. Perhaps he just tripped over one and thought, bloody cat, I'm going to curse them. Anyway, the decree marked the beginning of the Inquisition and church sanctioned heretic and or witch hunts. Initially, it was designed to squash the growing cults of Luciferians in Germany but quickly spread across Europe. Again, the Catholic Church manipulating people, and there's a pattern of this throughout the history of the Superstition series. Things only went downhill for black cats from there, with people of the Middle Ages burning them in bonfires on holy days like Shrove Tuesday, the first Sunday of Lent, and even Easter. Witchcraft issues, and this is, I'm going to explain this from a Wiccan priestess called Sheridwin Falling Star, explains this very well. Now, the early Christian church in Europe coexisted with witches. As the church gained power, they saw witches as their direct competition in gaining the hearts and minds of the people. That's when the church began hunting, persecuting, torturing and killing witches in vast numbers. Witches honoured the natural world, having deep respect for plants and animals. Affection between human and animal therefore began to be seen as diabolical and diabolical is the idea of Diablo, which is also a Spanish word for devil. Anyway, or devilish, and the old lady with the cats became seen as suspect. But it wasn't only the connection they fabricated between witches, cats and the devil that the early Christians fear. They also saw them both as threats. Cats like the women accused of witchcraft tend to exhibit a healthy disrespect for authority. Yeah, you know when black cats, they, cats don't listen to humans like dogs. They're very, they're non-obedient. The writer says, they don't fawn like dogs upon even the unworthy. In the church, neither independent women nor independent animals were to be tolerated. So this is where the idea of sexism and the idea of women are supposed to be not independent. This is where it comes from. It comes from religion. So when men are male chauvinists, that's where it actually comes from. At some point, the pairing of witches with cats narrowed down to black cats. Although Falling Star says that it's not entirely clear why that happened. The relationship between witches and black cats in particular is probably imaginary. But it's possible that black cats make better mousers since they cannot be seen at night and therefore have a hunting advantage. She explains witches do tend towards the practical. The Puritans from England and America connected them to the practice of witchcraft. Also, the colour black has also been associated with evil and death, which didn't help matter to our fairy friends who had the misfortune of being born the colour of the night. And also, if we look at it, this is why people have racism, because they believe that anything is black is seen as evil or non-adverse, um, non-working to authority. This is all, this is where this stems from. This is where people's conditioning comes from. Cats were also blamed for spreading the plague. During the Middle Ages, it wasn't uncommon for cats to be killed, given their association with evil. Some people even went as far as blaming cats for spreading the bubonic plague and used that as another reason to get rid of them. However, their ill-conceived plan backfired. Why is that? Because in the particular bizarre place of irony, the killing of the cats helped fuel the spread of the plague, with the reduced number of cats to control the rodent population, the disease spread rapidly. The plague was spread by rats. Killing all the cats meant you couldn't kill the rats. So the rats then spread it to humans, which hence this is where the idea of the rat catcher and all these came popular. 